Hi guys, in this video I'll show everyone how to quickly test the speed of your different drive and I have it set up here and all we have to do is plug in and run the test so first one I'm running is the SanDisk Extreme Pro uh, 64 GB U3 uh, 4K memory card so let's plug into the USB and see how fast you this thing can run. So all you need is to download the Black Magic Black Magic Disk Speed Test, and then you can choose the drive, select. SD4K right here open and run let me adjust the camera so it's better to see so at 77 87 it's gonna keep repeating itself doing several runs but uh, usually the repeat is same, is similar. It's basically stressing the drive. See what will happen. So I'm going to stop here. So this one in read and write is about 80 megabyte per second, uh, which is kind of nice for a small drive. Let's move on with a different test. So you are supposed to eject the, the file. When you don't do that on the Mac, it gives you the uh, warning message. Uh, on the window, you just pull it off and don't care anything. Next test I'm going to do is the uh, SU 635A data SSD. And this is one of the most affordable option you can get for Mac for external uh, SS uh, storage like the enclosure very cheap the drive is very cheap and let's see how it run so I plug it in and this one will light up and let's choose the drive Select target drive, SU240, and start test. 300, 302, see, it's pretty good. And 282 for right, second try, 301, second try, 282. So not so bad, not so bad, it's very cheap. I got that one for only $39 for such a good speed. Because if you use just a, just a 2.5 inch HDD, you will be getting around just 100 So I ejected that and I'm going to pull this off just to show you. Like if you get a, a 2.5 inch HDD, not SD, this is mechanical hard drive, the speed is very bad on this. And this is very noisy too. You get this sound from your hard drive. So now I plug it in and I'm going to run this Western Digital. You can see it's here. Let me go select the drive and here we go. Let's start a speed test. Oh my god, this is crazy slow. It's only a 16, my goodness. And the read is faster at 94. Second, oh, second try is normal now, much faster. It's at uh, 94, 95, 96, 96 megabyte per second. 
and re at 100. So you can see, right? Mechanical hard drive is slow, slow, slow. This is very old technology. 96 megabyte per second. Okay. Let's eject this one. Don't forget, we don't want to corrupt the file. But on the Windows, you don't care. You just pull it off. Alright. And now, this is my fastest external drive so far. Uh, limited to the budget for the enclosure. I don't feel like spending over $150 just for the enclosure. The hard drive itself only cost me $100. I'm not going to spend $250 on the enclosure. Anyway, so this is the fastest I can get with a no name. It actually has a name, just nobody know. Elutang. E-L-U-T-E-N-G. This is the brand name of this enclosure. And the hard drive inside is also no name. Some team, whatever. It's 1 TB for and this is using the type C cable. Look at this. It's very cool. Let's do the test right now. So the drive is coming up and let's select the drive. Very good. And here we go. Speed test start. It's looking beautiful, 782, read at 824, and again, second try, 782, and read at 825 megabyte per second, third try, 785, and 814 megabyte per second. So this is, this is not a thousand, but then this enclosure is only $30. So uh, it's a good bang for your buck. And if you are moving large file, working with large file, and uh, it's workable, it's uh, acceptable. Not the best, but it's good enough. Unless you want to spend $150 over on just the enclosure. Down the road, when they become cheap, I will buy them. Okay, this is another enclosure. Uh, I have, I bought to try. I thought this can go faster, but I was very disappointed. Because this enclosure is like $70. Supposed to go faster. This is USB 3.1. This is 3.1. This is 3.1. This is 3.2. Supposed to go faster, but it's not. It's very disappointing. And it's a, it's a famous brand name, Asus. And this product has a name, Orion, but then it's just not performing. I'll show everyone what I mean. So let's plug this in. And then it's, it's beautiful. There's RGB, but it's not performing. You charge twice the money and then your speed is slower. Uh, the drive inside is even faster using Western Digital. That one is capable of 2500, faster than the no name one. But it's not performing. Here we go M2500. And let's start the speed test. Here we go. Boom. Write speed 760. Read speed, oh my god, 639. Very slow. Second try, 758. Once again, 532 is going down. 743, 640 megabyte per second. So as you can see, um, this one is slower. So that's about it. Just to quickly demo how you can test out your drive so that you know 
which one is working and which one is not. You can also do a real test moving files, but this is much uh, more, much faster to do it this way because you can see the numbers, see the chart going. Uh, easy, easy way to benchmark. So this is my uh, top solution for bigger drive. And then for smaller project, this is another good solution. Okay, I will see you guys next time. Bye for now.